Welcome back outdoor enthusiasts, we're at TrustedShoppingGuide.com and today we're in the outdoors. In this video, two portable espresso machine brands will be going head-to-head. -head. We have the Wakaku Mini Presso and the AeroPress Go. When it comes to caffeine, coffee addicts know that they need it no matter where they are. You could, of course, swing by the local coffee shop for a cup of coffee. However, this is a costly and time-consuming endeavor that will detract from your travel plans. Plus, coffee shops aren't always accessible outdoors, and that's much worse. If you want superb coffee and in full-bodied, deeply-flavored espresso with the ideal crema on top, you're better off doing it yourself. Consequently, selecting the finest portable espresso machine is a necessary task. Of course, we're here to help you choose the finest one by battling out two top brands, Wakaku Mini Presso, which received four badges, and the AeroPress Go, which received five badge ratings from our team at TrustedShoppingGuide.com. You'd best hold off on passing judgment until after we've gone over each feature one by one to see who comes out on top. If you are interested in other portable espresso machines that we have reviewed, do check out our portable espresso machine review video link below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start the brand wars. The first category that these two portable espresso machines will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their portability. There is no use in spending hundreds of dollars on a product that you can't even lift, let alone take on business travels. Your goal is obviously to have coffee whenever and wherever you choose, and a tiny coffee maker will allow you to do just that. Whether you're going away for a few hours or a few weeks, space and weight are major factors in selecting your travel equipment. From its compact cylindrical design to the materials used, Wakaku reflects its commitment to practicality and portability. While some might be put off by the fact that it's mainly made of plastic, this makes it incredibly light at 0.8 pounds. It's also incredibly compact, measuring 6.89 by 2.75 by 2.36 inches. You can effortlessly pack this device inside your suit case, a backpack, a water bottle holder, or even your purse. On the other hand, the AeroPress earns high grades for portability, which is understandable given that this is the main selling feature. It's basically a smaller version of the original AeroPress. The entire setup, which includes a small coffee scoop, a unique foldable stirrer, and a special filter holder, along with the brewer itself, fits inside the included 444ml mug, which doubles as a carrying case. The whole thing weighs just 0.7 pounds and measures 3.7 by 3.7 by 5.3 inches. Because these devices are meant to be carried around with you, we would go with the AeroPress as it is both lighter and smaller, making it much more portable. For those who want their espresso on the go but don't mind foregoing some of the more upscale amenities of a traditional espresso machine, this is an excellent choice. The second category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their capacity. Think about the capacity that you need if you're just making coffee for yourself. A small machine is ideal, but you might want a larger one if you're going to use it for camping with the family or a group of friends. The Wakaku Mini Espresso is your best choice to enjoy up to 2.23 ounces of authentic espresso at home, in the office or on the go. Meanwhile, the AeroPress Go features a small size that has a capacity of 8 ounces, which makes 1 to 3 cups per press. Additionally, it comes with a cup quite generously sized at 400 ml or 13.5 ounces. Clearly, the AeroPress triumphs for having a bigger capacity than Wakaku. The plastic mug, on the other hand, is not a choice for those who like steel or ceramic cups for their coffee. In spite of this, the cup does still give the AeroPress an advantage as it is excellent for pouring and may be used as a cup for anything. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their ease of use. When it comes to getting the ideal shot of espresso, there shouldn't be any difficulties at all. Fortunately, many portable espresso machines provide you with the benefit of not only being portable, but also being able to prepare your morning coffee effortlessly and fast. To use the Wakaku Mini Presso, fill the filter basket with coffee grounds and set it on top of the machine's body, while filling the other bottom cup with hot water and closing the entire thing together. Start pumping by twisting the pump to unlock it and holding the extraction head squarely over your espresso cup. The espresso will begin to flow after 10 pumps. After 40 to 50 pumps, you should have drawn a complete shot. That's a lot of pumping, but if you're willing to put in the effort, you'll be rewarded with an amazing shot of espresso. 
For AeroPress Go, you just set the brewer on top of the cup and add a single filter inside the filter basket. Add one rounded scoop of ground coffee, making sure that they are evenly balanced, and then add hot water until the red one on the body is covered. Stir for 10 seconds, then finally insert the plunger and gently press, stopping when you feel resistance and continuing for a few seconds. Keep pressing until you get to the coffee puck. You can't go wrong with either option. Both are excellent travel companions, but the kind of coffee you enjoy and how much convenience you're seeking in a portable coffee maker are the most important factors to consider when making a decision. With a manual operating technique, these gadgets are very adaptable and do not need a battery or electricity to run. The plunger design of the AeroPress is particularly user-friendly, since you only need to press it slowly once. In contrast, pumping the wakaku involves a lot of effort, patience, and time, which is inconvenient and exhausting. As a result, the AeroPress has won the round for the third time in a row. The fourth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their taste quality. Everyone knows there is coffee, and then there is good coffee. Drinking coffee is a multi-sensory experience. It's as much about the aroma as it is about the flavor, so investing in one that suits your taste is definitely worthwhile. Wakaku is a great option if you're searching for a high-quality cup of espresso. The resulting espresso is full-bodied and aromatic, with a rich, nuanced flavor. Even better, it's topped with a beautiful golden crema. It can satisfy your craving of your favorite cafe, though it may not taste the same. On the flip side, one of the biggest advantages of the AeroPress is how nice and smooth the cup of coffee is. Using a paper filter, the final few sips don't turn muddy or murky since there are no particles. The resulting brew from the AeroPress is quite intense and at best has an extremely clean, rich flavor and has no bitterness. Both of the contenders offer a flavorful shot of espresso. The AeroPress, however, does not have enough pressure to produce a frothy crema on top of the coffee. With that, Wakaku has finally broken AeroPress's winning streak and clinched the victory in this round. The fifth and final category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their design. Although the appearance of your portable machine is not important and has no effect on its overall function, caring about a visually beautiful gadget gives you confidence in bringing it out and using it in public. In terms of design, Wakaku boasts a minimalist aesthetic design with a capsule-shaped body covered in all-black color, without any frills, which gives it a sort of elegance. Contrastingly, the AeroPress Go forgoes the hexagonal shape of the old AeroPress and now has a narrow circular top with an elliptical bottom. As far as the AeroPress's overall design and build quality, this is a coffee press that's built for performance, not aesthetics. The AeroPress Go might not be as sleek or modern as some coffee presses, but the design is incredibly functional and durable. That said, Wakaku finished the final round with the victory in hand. Both of these coffee makers have distinctive features of their own. Although they may lack some of the features you'd get with a full-size coffee press or maker, they do perform extremely well as portable ones. In the end, only one brand will emerge victorious from this battle. With a score of 3 to 2, we declare the AeroPress as the clear winner, having defeated the Wakaku Mini Presso with its portability, capacity, and ease of use. If you're looking for a press that's easy to travel with and still simple to use when it's time to brew your coffee, the AeroPress Go is a high-quality, affordable option for a lot of Java drinkers. However, it's also worth noting that the Wakaku Mini Presso also produces an aromatic, creamy espresso and is ideal for those with an eye for aesthetics. And there you have it folks, the battle between the Wakako Mini Presso and the AeroPress Go has finally ended. If you have any contenders for our next portable espresso machine face-off which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comments section below and we will be sure to assess them for our next update. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our outdoors great. We look forward to seeing you at thetrustedshoppingguide.com again soon.